I'm one of the anaesthetic fellows um, and I also have a role in simulation and education this year, which is how I became involved in all of this. So the team down there um, are largely comprised of um, critical care nurses and doctors, so um, ICU nurses, anaesthetic nurses and a lot of the um, consultants involved are from the anaesthetic department, um, but draw from a lot of the critical care areas, so ED and ICU as well. So we're sitting in the um, prototyping area for um, the new hospital, so um, with prototypes of the new rooms. So we first did a couple of sims in the old room, um, just to get a feel for how things would work there. It's not my usual work environment on the ward, so it was good to get a sense of what that felt like. And then we ran the scenario again in the new room, just to see what the differences were um, and to see what the impact of the room was on, on just physically doing what you needed to do for the patient. So it was really interesting because you come into a room and you can look at it and think about all the things that might or might not work, but when you actually run the situation, it all of a sudden uncovers all these little things that actually really impact on what you do. So for us, one of the biggest things was the position of the bathroom door. So there are a couple of situations where that made it really difficult to actually get to the patient and care for the patient in this acute scenario. And without having run the scenario, I don't know that that would have been apparent, um, but it was, it was suddenly very obvious just by having done that simulation. I think the fact that we've been able to be involved at this stage where you can identify those issues and you can flag things that won't work in the clinical environment means that the changes are gonna be made before it's then implemented and the new hospital is built. If, if we weren't involved at this stage, it's, it's too late, isn't it? So I think it just gives you confidence that the consultation is being done and that it's appropriate and that hopefully we'll have the outcome of making it a better, more usable space.